Hello, hello everyone. The stream is starting. I totally didn't almost sleep through the stream. I promise. <laughs> running a little bit late because of that, but I'm here. This might not be the longest stream ever, but we'll we'll see how things go. Hi Han. Hi Ron. How's everyone doing today? Good, good. So, I've been doing something a bit weird lately. I've been playing Sanctum, which totally is not what I usually do. I only started playing it, like, yesterday uh it's a uh for those who aren't familiar with it it's basically a little like a miniature roguelike mechanic within path of exile it was reintroduced last league after the it was it was removed during its own league at the end of it but they brought it back after changing some things out and it has some surprisingly good rewards so i've been enticed by money <laughs> I'll give a quick overview for those who aren't too familiar with it. Uh, basically, you pick up a uh, you pick a room to go to, and there's various benefits and disadvantages, and you have to complete the objective in that room. So, we have one choice right now. So, objective, defeat all the guards and rare monsters. Usually there's one of three objectives, defeat all the guards, find the exit, or defeat the boss monster. Uh, you have, instead of actually using your health, it uses resolve, which is kind of like your health in this scenario, except for it does not regenerate. Uh, there is... Both Resolve and Inspiration, which is like in Energy Shield or over, over it. Uh, if you take a hit to your Resolve, it you have to find a way to regenerate it manually. And if you run out of Resolve, you get kicked out of the Sanctum. Though you don't really die in the Sanctum. You can take damage to see your actual health, but for the most part you don't. Let's find some people. So ideally you want to you want to get hit as few times as possible, which privileges evasion builds. Also you want to pick up these coins and open the chest for more coins here as much as you can. You can use them to buy stuff at merchants such as buffs and uh buffs and boons. So, boons just being uh, a uh, temporary buff that you can buy to... Uh, it, it'll last a while, like, as long as your run goes, basically. And it'll give you some sort of buff. Okay, what do we want? So, when you get... Go to a reward room, you have one of three options. Either you can pick the option now the one at the end of this floor, so at the end of the 10-ish rooms, or at the end of the Sanctum, which is the end of three floors. I'm going to put everything into completing this Sanctum. It's a monster level 70 area, so it's not going to be too, too dangerous for me. So, 
we have three options here. Each one of them has a, an affliction with it. An affliction is just the opposite of a bone. It's a debuff that sits on you until it's removed somehow. So either lose 10 resolve and use a flask. Should not use that because I have automated flasks. Uh, less coins found or cannot res cover resolve. And that is for the whole floor. That's really dangerous. But if you don't get hit, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, you also have to kind of choose based on which uh, room you want to go to. Because if I want to go to this room, for example, I need to go through here or here. Uh, I'm probably going to pick less coins because I want to go to this room since I see chaos orbs there. Also, less coins is probably the least dangerous option. Really, really nice having a totem build for this, because you can kind of just let your totem scale things around corners, and you don't have to worry so much. If you're careful, you can kind of avoid being hit. I actually haven't been hit yet. Which I guess is kind of like the fun part of roguelikes is trying to do it as like perfectly as possible. Coins. I think I already said this, but you can use the coins to uh, buy bones and remove afflictions at merchants, as well as recover resolve. So we have a little boss room here. It's just going to continuously spawn new creatures to fight until it runs out, basically. Plus it has the skull in the middle, which is just a turret that is immortal and will keep attacking you. I found the easiest way is to just run in circles. Okay, that room's done. One of the main reasons I've been playing this, though, is that... It actually has a lot of money that comes out of it. I've been told it, quote, shits currency, and that is honestly very true. Hmm. I think I'll go here, since that just gives me items. Uh, there's a, an afflicted fountain here, which is basically, you can recover resolve from the fountain, but you also get an affliction as part of that. I don't need to recover resolve because I've yet to take a hit. The thing I have noticed is that it seems to light up the areas where there are guards. So you know if you're walking into like a well-lit area that there's a guard there. Ah, finally got hit. <laughs> All that matters, like, I only took 10 resolve worth of damage, but, but I, I like not, <laughs> I like going as, as, I like having as perfect a run as I can have. You know, just for the fun of it. Okay, and I want this, because I don't care if... I take more resolve damage when below 50% because I'm going to try not to take any resolve damage at all. I resolve to take no damage. Eh. Yeah. Try not to fall to the traps. You can just step on these landmines and then back off because they take a second to blow up. Oh, okay. They got a guard for me. That I didn't even see it coming. <laughs> I love totems. I'm going to be betting a lot on just getting shit at the end of the Sanctum right now. I've been able to get through the Sanctums pretty effectively lately, so I'm hoping that I can keep up with that.
So we have a few diff we'll have a few different options eventually. Uh, since I'm gonna be, I'm, I try to plan like a couple steps ahead. So I'm probably gonna want to go to the Benevolent Fountain or an Accursed Pact. The Benevolent Fountain is more expensive than the normal fountains, which just res restore resolve. But this one also gives you a boon. So like deal more damage to guards, take less res resolve damage from guards, so on. And the Cursed Packs are you t you get a boon and a affliction at the same time. Uh, I don't really need the Benevolent Fountain. Or Normal Fountain. I think I'll just take the Abandoned Library and just go through the Accursed Pact. I don't know any... I don't really know much about the names of the areas. Like, I don't know if one area is, like, better than the other to go through yet, because I'm not very familiar with this game mode. Since I'm honestly have not played very much of it at all. Yeah, I think the exit's over here. Okay, I was just find find the exit level. You can kill stuff if you want to get extra coins, but I mean you don't have to. Okay, cursed pact. Find the exit. Oh. Damn, they got me. Come over here, will you? Thank you. There's these little creatures that wander around and are harmless for whatever reason. I think I think these things just exist to give you flash charges back. They just won't they won't attack you. No. No, you don't. I'm taking this a bit slow because I'm actually trying to pick up some coins right now. Back and off. Okay. Cool. Should be a guard over here somewhere, probably. Over here? A lot of light around here for no guards. There we are. Oh, and there's the stairs. Okay, here's it packed. So you have to pick one if you want to access the offer. Hmm. Gain 150 inspiration if you complete the next two rooms without re losing resolve or inspiration. I think I'm good enough to do that? I don't know. <laughs> This one is, like, I, I can take as many of these as I want. I really like the, um, uh, I really like the, um, lose maximum resolve ones because I don't tend to take a lot of resolve damage, so I'm fine losing maximum in exchange for bones. More resolve recovered, uh, and monsters deal less damage. Okay. You know what? I'm going to risk the lilting melody. Let's see if I can get inspiration, if I can clear the next two rooms. Okay. And I'll take that. Now, I got a debuff, didn't I? Oh, I just reduced my resolve. So I'm down to 114 maximum from 305. Oh, and now I have a boss. And the bosses are very easy for this build because this is kind of a bossing build. And he's dead. And now we're at the end of the floor. So we get any rewards that we pick for the end of the floor. 
and we get to select some rewards for either now or later. Uh, but the fusings are worth more than the jewelers. Um, don't, don't you dare, I hear, I hear the, <laughs> I hear the stupid, um, uh, it really likes to throw in random shit from other places, other, um, other parts of, uh, SoundCloud, even though I have it set to, like, a very specific set of things. No. Don't get me don't get my stream muted, please. No. I like it will genuinely get my stream muted and it has gotten my stream like parts of my stream muted by just randomly selecting things. No, fuck off. Okay. Does it have any autoplay going on right now? Okay. No, it did. Turn that off. Okay. It's only going to have outer tone stuff now. I hate it when it just randomly adds extra things. I mean, it's my fault for not changing it, but... Ugh, I hate when I forget that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to the second floor now. Let's see... Hmm... Let me hit Ignore Your Resolve Mitigation... I kinda wanna go for this, cause I see there's Chaos Orbs there. Reduce resolve recovered, or lose all Oris coins on floor completion. I think, I think I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for battleground so that I can go through gauntlet because I don't really want. I don't really want to sharpen arrowhead or lure attacks. It'd be better for me to deal with unquenched thirst. That does mean that I'm gonna have to take unhallowed amulet though. Unless I pick here, but then I'm not gonna get the chaos orbs. Nah, eh, whatever. I'm pretty strong. I I think I can take some. Ah. Eh. Okay, this is why you check the room before you just rush towards the chest. <laughs> oh, I love that my Hex Blast totems freeze automatically, like on every hit, because I have they're guaranteed crits because of my uh, Tripanon and Sandstorm Visage combo. Oh, cool. I, d I did both of the rooms without uh, losing resolve. Last the next two rooms without losing resolve, so I got the 150 inspiration. So that's that acts just like resolve does, except for it's recovered slightly differently. It's like energy shield, except for it also doesn't recover. <laughs> okay, find the exit. Oh, right. I have to be careful. So this is a mostly trapped area. Okay. No. Okay. Killing things off so I can actually think. Okay. I think, yeah, I managed to do that without getting hit.
Ooh. <laughs> that was close. Okay, I'm out. Killing orbs. Hmm. Okay, so I probably want Decrepit Cellar for the Chaos Orbs. That's one of these two. I guess I'll go for Fountain since it's just le it's just the same thing but less dangerous. Uh, Fountain's not really useful because you pay like a small amount of money and then you get to, to uh, get your resolve back. But I mean, I'm not low on resolve, so not incredibly useful. Oh, that was really useful, actually. That was really quick. Ignore the fountain since I have nothing to recover. I need to get away from that guy because the frost orbs that they summon tend to linger a little bit after they die. I find those ones tend to be kind of dangerous. Okay, so I'm probably going to find the exit over here. Nope. Is it back here? Yes. Okay. More chaos orbs for later. So I have 12 chaos orbs, 5 jeweler, gem cutters prisms, 14 chromatic orbs, and 18 orbs of scouring when I complete the sanctum. If I complete the sanctum. So I don't see a reason why I wouldn't. Okay, defeat all the guards. No, you don't. Nope. I think you got me. Darn. Okay, got through that. I mean, like, I can take a whole lot of damage and still be fine, but I don't know. It's it's like an extra challenge to me that I try not to take any damage. Did I hear... Oh. It's always weird that these things actually drop items. Because they, they, usually you don't see items in the Sanctum. Okay, so... Wants to deal more damage. I don't care. That's fine. I'll go for that gauntlet. Uh, either Merchant or... Items. I think I'm going to skip the merchant and just go for items. I I can buy boons and, rec and buy more resolve, but I don't have to because I'm not low. Also, I have noticed that a lot of the things in the Sanctum have, like, a fairly decent wind-up. So if you get familiar with how, like, what their charge time is for an attack, you often can just, like, walk through them. Which is really nice, honestly. Oh, you're still alive. You are also still alive. Yeah. Okay, I seem fine. Is there what is the Templar cache over here? Let me grab this. Stuff. Those orbs. Okay, and want this for the chaos orbs. There's you just you get a lot of money from this, is what I've realized. It's just it's just money. Nope. Okay, those guys that like to to 
create holograms of themselves are some of the most, like, the most dangerous enemy I think I've found here. Ow. I, I feel like I get hit by them more often than I get hit by any of the other guards. Nope. Right here? Yes, right here. Okay. Chaos orbs. I would like more corbs, please. Oh, and then boss area, which is easy for this character because it's only level 70 area anyways. Goodbye. Okay. Uh, I think the chromes, because honestly, that's not really worth waiting. Uh, I'll take the chance orbs. The the choices that you get aren't all. It isn't always best to wait for later. Sometimes it's better to just pick whatever you're offered immediately. You kind of have to make a choice. Ooh, lots of money based on when the sanctum's complete. The really cool thing is you can take the the already complete like on its the in progress sanctum out and if you right click on it you can see all like all of the money that you have coming all of the uh all the boons you have all the issues you have hmm. Honestly this is pretty good I feel like Rusted Discry and Unquench Thirst cancel each other out completely. Fright Mask and Home Claws basically cancel each other out. Applied mo ma a ba yeah. There. Let's try that again. <laughs> I mainly have less coins found, and Merchants offer fewer choices, so those two kind of go together for the most part, because, I mean... Merchants are going to suck, so it's fine that I don't have that many coins anyways, because there isn't going to be a lot to buy. And I don't really care as much about recovering resolve, because I don't really get hit that much. This character works well with not getting hit, thankfully. You need, like, a decent movement speed. That really helps, honestly. I think I'm okay with monsters having more health. I don't want them to afflict binding chains because that locks you in place. That's like, it's like pinned down. It's really, really dangerous. I believe it locks you in place. I'm going to take Spike Shell. I think that's the safest. So this is the third and final level of the, this sanctum. Okay. Guard coming up somewhere. There you are. Oh. Okay, picking that up. I don't think they can shoot through these walls, despite the fact you can see through them. This is also just to find the exit, so I don't actually have to fight everything. The main reason to explore is either to A, find the exit, or B, to just pick up coins. I could kind of just rush through most of this. I don't have to spend as much time as I am, but... Eh. Afflicted Fountain. Well, I don't need to do either of those things. Thankfully, it, so interestingly enough, it's actually worth it sometimes to take afflictions, because there are boons that make it so that as you gain afflictions, you actually 
gain uh, inspiration or other powerful things. Hmm. They're going to go for the minor treasure to the major treasure. Which is just lots of coins. And I will actually go to merchant at some point. Even though they're kind of shit. Because of my uh, afflictions. Okay, there's someone over there somewhere. I think. Lots of light over here. Yeah, there they are. Oh, no rain of arrows, please. There's a caster here somewhere, right there. Grab the big cache here. Pick up the coins. Dodge that. Thankfully, the melee ones have a pretty long wind up. And they can't shoot through these, so I can kind of just hide. If you break their line of sight, you can usually protect yourself from most things. It really helps that I have a guaranteed freeze. Is there a chest? No, no chest. Okay, it's probably at the end of this area right here. No, it's not. Okay. I guess it's up? It has to be. Nope. Perfectly timed dash. Oh, it's so satisfying. Uh... Hmm. Rune types are unknown on the map. I don't I don't like red smoke. I also don't want to lose all coins on the end of the floor, but I think this is the last floor. I'm still not very familiar with this game mode, but I think this is the end. Oh, that's incredibly dangerous. Action speed cannot be slowed below base. That means I can't freeze things. So I absolutely cannot get fiendish wings. I'll go to Infernium, then I'll go to Unholy Lair. Oh. Okay, so this one ha is spawns guards and has things that are constantly, like, meteors that are constantly falling from the sky. This one gets really hectic really quickly. <laughs> Very hard for me not to get hit with this one. Nope. Leave me alone. Ooh, I only got hit once, I think. Not bad. Mage treasure award. I just need to find a merchant now. Because I'm up to nearly a thousand coins. Uh, if I don't take this merchant, I might not see another merchant. What I'm worried about, but I also won't get the Chaos Orbs then. I don't need the Merchant. I don't think I need it desperately, so I'm gonna hope that I'm fine without it. Okay. Do whatever that is. Nope. Nope. Thankfully, like, so many of them have attacks where you can literally just walk through them and you're fine. Just because 
they ha they're all wind up attacks. They are have some really good telegraphs. That was not a wind up attack though. I did not realize they could just shoot a quick arrow. Interesting. I'll have to watch over the fire archers then. Money. Eh. No. <laughs> Struggling a bit. Don't mind me. Uh if I take the cursed pact, I can't get to the benevolent whatever. Take the cursed pact so I can go to Infernium. Those melee guys, if, if you get hit by their teleport slam, it's it hurts. It hurts a lot. Okay, so this that looks like the exit, but I guess not. Uh okay. Where's the exit then? Here? Yes. Okay, packed. So I could lose more maximum resolve. <laughs> and thanks for a major bone. I don't know the difference between a major bone and a minor bone. Rooms are unknown. Houses have less maximum life. Hmm. You know what? Fuck it. What's a major bone? Cannot receive any more minor afflictions. Oh, that's a pretty nice major boon. Oh, that means I can take this, because this is a minor affliction. And so I won't gain the affliction, I'll just get the benefit. But it'll block it. Uh, I don't know if Veiled Sight is a minor affliction. I'm going to hope it's a minor... Uh... Now you get three minor boons in exchange for it. This is probably a major... Affliction, then. I don't know if there are minor and major afflictions, but I assume there are minor and major. Hmm. You know what? I have... There's an amazing way to tell what what things are. It's called the internet. <laughs> so, I'm gonna... I'm gonna just... I'll look this up really quick cuz I don't have to I don't have to fuck around with this. I don't know why I'm <sighs> I don't know why I'm just like, "Oh, I wonder what I should do." No, I can just look it up. It's not uh Oh, it also hides rewards. Okay. Okay, I think this, I think this is a major affliction. Okay, so I won't take that. Only want to take it if I knew it was a minor affliction, because then I wouldn't get it. Because of the uh, golden chalice I just got, or crystal chalice. Hmm. Oh, the. Infernium down here does give me chaos orbs. Hmm. I go through the halls of worship. Nope. Almost got hit with that one. Ah. Their activation range is really high. Yeah. Okay, I got very hit with that one. Yeah, I lost like 40 inspiration for that. That was not good. I'm at effectively 115 health. I just need to find the exit, which is probably this? No, it's not. I'm very lucky I teleported just far enough away that I didn't get hit with that. Rush.
Oh, thank gosh, okay. Uh, darn it, one second. Sorry about that. Okay. Refusing, so it's worth the most. And I'll take Infernium. Okay. Oh, so this has two skulls. So I basically just, I just need to keep moving. Let's see, I'm going to try to put the totems on the edges here. So that hopefully they don't get hit by the skulls too often. Woo! That one almost got me. Oh, no, not the great grenade guy. Ooh, okay. That's the room. There's a cash right over here, right? Oh, I already got that. So I think that means I am heading to the boss now. Denethar Templar Reaper. I don't know if I fought this before. I think I have. Oh, okay, yes, yes, I have I have fought this one before. Mm, no, I'm good. I'm good, you can just not attack me. That'd be great. Whew. I'm pretty strong, but, like, I do worry sometimes. She took off eight inspiration, so that's really not that bad for dealing with the boss. Okay, so I guess there's another level after this. Maybe there's four levels. Tell us how much I know about this mechanic. Okay. Let's see. Lycia, unholy heretic. Okay. Or Lyca? I'll call her Lyca. Lyca, I know, is the last boss. I, rem I remember her now. Hmm. These both have chaos orbs. I don't know if Hungry Fangs is a major or minor affliction. Pack more resolve. If I knew what was a minor or major affliction, it would really help me, honestly, here. Uh... I'm going to take this so I can grab the Chaos Orbs and then probably grab the Regrets there. No point going to the uh, to the Merchant because I have floor, I have the Floor Tax Affliction, which means that I don't get to keep my coins going from floor to floor. So I have 67 coins. Yeah, take out take out the the friend please thank you no ah did not mean to walk around 
I accidentally walked around to the wrong side of the bookcase just because I was, like, controlling it wrong. No. Okay, thankfully they're getting perma-frozen. Ooh. Is there any extra... No. Okay, so I just... I can just leave them. Corpse. Let's feed all the guards. Okay, and now I hide. Thankfully, I do not lose inspiration for when my totems get hit. I'll wait for my totems to finish. What? What are they fighting? That is... Whatever they're... Fighting is strong. Huh. I don't know how it took that many hits. That's pretty crazy. Okay, just waiting till that stops going. Okay, now I can run over. Take out the friend, please. Cool. No. Wait, thank. I don't know how the he didn't hit me there. Because he surrounded me very quickly. It felt like I got hit, but I did not somehow. Room complete. Ooh. Uh, I like the ball orbs. Only marginally better, but I don't care. Radiant Fountain. What the hell's a Radiant Fountain? I only have 89 coins, so I probably can't afford the Radiant Fountain. Because usually that stuff costs money. Ooh, there's Exalted Orbs there. Cool. I'm going to go for Entomb then. So I can get the exalted orbs. Nope. Nope, you can fight my totems. And they take a lot of hits. I guess it's because I have the, um... Wherever it is. So, monsters have 20% more maximum life. Because I have a 30% less and a 50% more, so... I guess it's just the more life, and do I do less damage or something? No? No. I guess they're just a bit tanky. Oh well. No. Oh, thank gosh for permafreeze. <laughs> wow, I, I stepped out just far enough to get hit by the fireball. Damn it. Wait, can I skip? Yes, I can. Cool. Okay, there's usually, like, little side paths you can skip along if you're careful. Oh! Nope. Ooh! Okay, that was very lucky! And it almost was very unlucky. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm okay. I am just fine. No! No, fuck off. I'm okay. Nope. Go over here. Nope. Eh. Okay. Let's skip around the back here. Over here. Forward. There's something here. There we go. And there's the stairs. Ooh. I love being able to take the little back exits. Those are fun. Okay, so I want the exalted orb, and I think that afflictions I'm gonna I'm gonna get will be blocked. Oh, defeat the boss! I immediately walked towards them just because I wasn't paying enough attention.
I'm glad that that boss was easy for me. Yeah, six alts. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um. Mm. I'm gonna go here because I don't want to get black smoke. I would have taken the accursed packs because I can block the minor afflictions, but eh. Nope. 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 Okay. Should be safe enough now. No. Ooh. Yep, that storm, those storms are dangerous. They'll, like, seek you out. Oh. I saw that forming and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> no. Leave me alone. No! Oh, fuck. There goes the rest of my inspiration. Got a 57 resolve now. I'm pretty sure that's the uh, door right here. Did they kill the thing? No, they didn't. Yeah, this is the door. Okay. Ooh, I'm coming right down the wire. <laughs> I should have checked what was ahead before I did that, but... Okay, find the exit. So this is probably a heavily trapped zone. Nope. Nope! No, 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 no. Okay, so that thing's dead. Yeah, we're really coming down to the wire now. Nope. I see the light from you. Okay, they died because the light went away. Nope! They teleported away, that's what happened. Okay, the grenade's still there, which means that they're not dead! There we go. Nope. No, thank you. I'm going to rush this a bit. Okay, good. There's no guards immediately here. Okay, I can ignore that, thankfully. Nope. I don't know how I didn't get hit by that. That was very lucky. Ooh. Really coming down to the wire now. Ooh! Divine Orbs! Oh, fuck yes. I will take Divine Orbs. Okay, I really cannot lose this. That one's down. I have to be very, very careful from now on. Because now I have to I have at least one divine or a bat stake. Okay, that one's down, yep. Okay. There as many of these things as I can because I don't know. Ooh! Secret area. Eh. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> just gonna just gonna hide over here for a second. No. Ooh. Ooh, that was bad. Okay, I see there's still a thing there, which means that whatever the dangerous thing is, it's still there. Okay. I am going to trick the 
skull, I think. Now, hold on a second. Let me clear out whatever's here. I don't know. I don't think the skull can see me. Something over there. Okay. Still attacking, still attacking, still attacking. Don't know. I can't see it, but I know that they're doing something. Okay. Oh, this is the exit. Ooh. Vine orb. Oh, it's just the boss now. Okay. This. So this is kind of hard because this final boss has traps before them. So you start in this one little area here. And ah, fuck! I walked into the dam the dot field. There goes my divine orb. Damn it! I was so careful. I was doing so well. That was a complete and total misplay too. Like that was in that was entirely my fault. Ugh. Ouch. Well, there goes my 200 chaos. Oh, no, actually, I had, like, another, like, 50 chaos for the stuff, too, that was waiting for me. Yeah, there goes a lot of things. Well, I have, I have an in-progress sanctum that I was working on, where I've done... I did the first level, I believe. I'm just gonna open this one up. But yeah, the best way to deal with a, a loss like that is to just go right back in. Yeah, okay, this is the second floor. Okay, so there's chaos orbs there. Test no longer drop coins. Guards release volatile anomaly. I'm fine with the anomalies. God, I had I, I miss my crystal chalice already. Being able to block all the uh, all the uh, afflictions I could get. That oh, that was so nice. Nope. Oh no. This is not a good spot. Oh, I'm not... This is not good. Okay. Okay. So that became, like, a rush very quickly? No. 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 Where's the exit anyways? Nope. Nope. It must be up here, then. There's nowhere else it could be. Okay, so I have 12 Chaos Orbs waiting for me at the end of the Sanctum. Don't monsters deal more damage. Traps them to deal more resolve damage. Guards release a fireball when they die, and I recover more resolve. Okay, well, I can cover 50. I want to take this, because it's more likely to be the one-shot things, then. So the quicker I can kill things, the better. But that brought me up to full resolve again, so I'm at 305. I don't really care what my relics do. I don't really have any good ones. Yeah, go here for the Chaos Orbs. No. Oh yeah, being able to two-shot that is much nicer. Nope. Ah. I did not even see that fireball. I moved out of there out of the way accidentally too. That was very lucky. Don't don't tell me about 
Volclaws. I don't care about those. Okay, fireball. No! Ah, oh, it lost. It lost me fifteen. Darn it! Wait, no. I need this. I'm glad I can go back up because otherwise I would have lost that. <laughs> okay. Relics of Lust Effect. Oh well, I guess it's just whatever this is. Has to avoid resolve loss from enemy hits. Scales to your evasion rating. You know, if I like this stuff. Oh, resolve mitigation from enemy hits. Mitigates portion of resolve loss. Scales with your armor. Oh. Does that mean when I use my molten shell, it goes up? Yeah, it went up by a percent. Oh. I've been heavily considering trying um, making like an evasion character meant for this, meant for the sanctum specifically. So like. Honest, like I don't think, like I don't need the he the amount of health I do. If I'm like just to deal with the sanctum, because like the sanctum doesn't really deal much health damage, if at all, ever. Ah! I'm riding through this too quickly. Ah! Too much happening. Okay, there's a rare monster there. And one more. Enough yet. Okay, packed. So I can drop an affliction and a bone at the same time. Hmm. I would prefer to keep Sanguine Vial, but if I lose it, I lose it. I think I'm okay with that. I don't really care about them dealing less damage. More maximum resolve. Wait, I gain maximum resolve, but I lose maximum resolve? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do this first. Because I don't want to eat the Tarnish to, to cry. Okay, remove the Volatile Anomaly. That Volatile Anomaly is, like, not a problem, but it's annoying. Okay, and that's fine. I'm fine with that. I want the, uh, Sanguine Vial. And now I'm going to take the, the Tarnished Discry. And that is a net of... 73 more resolve. And I don't care about that. Take that now. I need to find a better balance between leaving things to the end of the Sanctum and taking them immediately. Again, a minor, random minor affliction when you use a fountain, that's probably fine. But I also don't have much money to go to a merchant with. Gain affliction, gain a r additional random minor affliction. Oh god, that's bad. I probably better to go here, even though it's not really useful to me. I don't want to be gaining afflictions at double speed. Oh god, that is a lot of turrets. Nope. I walked right into that. Alright. Why are no guards spawning? It just does this sometimes, where it just does not spawn guards for a little while. Don't know why it does that. Maybe it's, I don't know if it's intentional or a bug. Oh, now it's spawning guards again! Need to stay on the outside. So that it doesn't keep hitting me. Oh, I actually do have enough to buy something. Oh, duplicate a random offer award. 
that's really good because you can potentially get divines from this, and if you duplicate a divine, then you're very lucky. <laughs> uh, you know, I'll go for ornate dagger just so that I'm more likely to one shot things. Because I mean, being able to one shot guards is really powerful. Uh, I guess I'll go with decrepit seller. No. Go away. Oh, but as I was saying before, I was I'm actually been considering making a Sanctum character maybe. Like I'd have to like Sanctum enough to to bother doing that, but I I have been like playing with the idea of what what type of character would make a good Sanctum character. And it looks like you get benefits from armor and harm evasion. But I feel like I would make, like, a, a fast, glassy evasion character that, like, basically does not... Only goes into evasion, does not even bother with health. Uh, because you don't really take health damage in here. So it's not particularly dangerous. Uh... Not recover resolve. Removed after killing the next floor boss. Okay, that's immediate. Okay, well, I'll just go straight through here then. Since I don't lose anything. Unless I do, and if that's the case, I'll find out immediately and I will not do that again. Oh, I'm liking one-shotting things. Okay, it's in one of these corners. There it is. Always in a corner for that room. Okay, I really hope that hemorrhage will get removed, actually, when I kill that boss next. I hope it's not, like, the boss after that or something. It says next floor boss, so I assume that it's the floor boss that I'm about to face. Oh, gosh. Okay, that almost got me. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Thank you. <laughs> Just hiding behind the monster, like, please, please freeze it before it hits me. Oh, okay. Good. It got everything. I was worried for a second. Oh, I almost intercepted that arrow from my totem. I'm glad that I didn't. Okay, and now for the boss fight, which is easy. You know, them not having ranged attacks really makes them not scary. <laughs> If they had range attacks, they would be much, much worse. Hmm. Oh, these are. Oh, that's a major treasure. Oh, I guess I'll take the merchant immediately then. I do actually have money right now, so that's kind of nice. Okay, good. So the hemorrhage is gone. So yeah, the next boss can just be the boss that's in the next room. That's good. Oh, this is the meteor room. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is definitely the place where I'm really happy when I can one-shot things, because, like, I need to kill the guards immediately, or I'm just going to take a lot of damage. How did I take no damage from that? Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that all on being able to one-shot them. Uh, okay, so I'm only down 
I'm only really down 11 resolve, so I'm not buying any more. Next time you go blow 20% resolve, heal. I can buy both of these. I don't care how much damage monsters do. Because my solution is just to not get hit if I can manage it. Okay, so <laughs> that middle reward right there, the uh, Divine Vessel, for a second, my brain didn't register what it was, and I'm like, that's that's not a mirror, right? <laughs> I mean, I've never seen a, a Mirror of Calandra before, and like, it's possible to get them. They're just so insanely rare that you might never get them. <laughs> Ugh, okay, whatever. Uh, I don't like Deceptive Mirror because I want to be taken to the right room, but Major Reward's nice. No, I'm going to go for the Minor Reward and then go to Infernium. I'll take Reduced Reser Reward Recovered so that I can get Chaos Orbs immediately. Or at the end of the... Uh, uh, the end of the Sanctum. Yes, that thing. No, at the end of the, the floor of the Sanctum. Not the end of the Sanctum. No. Go away. Nope. Okay. It's probably not the exit here. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. Okay, and quench thirst. Give me those chaos orbs. Oh, spell room. Oh, being able to freeze things is just so valuable. You know, a very similar build to this on a shadow maybe with the permanent freeze would be really nice for like go full evasion and no health go all glassy that sounds really good for sanctum afflicted fountain whatever i don't have to even i don't have to click on the fountain if i don't want it so I went too early, but I did not get hit somehow. I'm very lucky I did not get hit by that. Eh? Okay. I am okay! I'm okay as long as that guy doesn't hit me. Whoa! I did. I did not know that there was a skull over here. I'm very happy that I just lucked through that one. Wait, could I? Have, I could have jumped up here. Oh, that would have been better to jump up here because it's probably like right over here. The thing. No, leave me alone. Oh, it's probably like right here, yeah. Okay. Don't need resolve, I can just ignore the fountain. Looks youth hemorrhage, cannot recover resolve until you kill the floor boss. I'm pretty close to killing the floor boss though. But I don't need it because I can just go for the major reward instead. Eh. Eh. Danger? Danger? Okay, 
I'm good. Everything is fine. <laughs> Wow, that's like 280 coins from this. Edge rewards are nice. Hmm. Not avoid resolve loss from enemy hits. I might just go through a Cursed Pact to Infernium and go to the boss monster. I can buy stuff because I have a decent amount right now of coins. No! How did I walk through the charge without taking damage? That does not make sense to me. Uh, okay, I missed some guards. Right here. Okay, that's the room. I only get eight coins on the chest. It really does not feel like it's worth picking up the chests. Okay. Nope, not a good trade. Traps are disabled in exchange for losing three random minor bones. Uh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Also, impact less resolve in exchange for no. I don't really need any of these, but I also won't get the the offer if I don't pick something. So I guess I'll pick this. I'll lose a bit of max resolve, whatever. Okay, iron manacles. I don't have any evasion anyways. Eh. Eh. I hate this room. There's so much shit going on. I only lost seven result or seven inspiration, so that's actually was pretty damn good. Ooh, okay. In 150 inspiration, you complete the next tier without losing resolve or inspiration. Uh, next purchase from the merchant costs nothing. 100% increased resolve recovery when resolve is below 150%. I don't really need to recover resolve ever because of how I play this. Because I have, I'm a totem build. Uh, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I hope this works. Okay, so I have the... So I have the boss next, and then I have the first room on the next floor. I'm going to say that I can complete the uh, next two rooms without re losing resolve or inspiration. So I'm going to take that. Um, I don't really see a point picking this because... I mean, I don't know when I'm next going to see a merchant, and I don't know when it's going to matter. I'm not likely to... I don't think I'm going to... I don't have anything to lose the coins right now, so... But nothing else is really valuable to me. On the chance that I lose the coins, I'll buy that, but... I don't know. I don't need anything right now. Yeah, let's do the... Kill the boss... Oh, this is the one boss that I know that... That I, I can definitely get hit in. Ooh. Okay, Lilting Melody still there. So I definitely didn't get hit there. Ooh. Bit dangerous. Bit dangerous. But I'm okay. I'm good. I'm okay. Oh, gosh. 
least I keep getting chaos. Like, I am still making money, even if I lose some money. Okay. So I need to not lose resolve in this first room. Uh, oh! Exalted orbs! Wow, that's all chaos orbs! <laughs> Just no longer drop Aura's coins... Yeah, I'm gonna go for this. I want the exalted orbs. Well, now... And when you complete the end of the floor is the same as when you complete the sanctum now, so... Still see my tomes attacking. Okay. Nope. Nope. I'm not gonna lose this bone. Nope, not allowed. Yeah, can you, like, explode over there, will you? Thank you. I can jump over here. Nope! No! 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 Okay, so I completed it. Oh, so when the room is complete, even if you get hit after before you leave the room, you still get the buff. Nice. Okay, so this is the last floor. I need to not get hit. Thank you, Permafreeze Totems. No. Oh. Okay, that wasn't good. Wow, I got hit twice. That was so bad. I I lost 70. Wait, what? I got hit by something else. Did I just stand in the volatile anomaly? I think I did. That's really unfortunate. No, teleport. Why won't you teleport? Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Wow, I'm losing inspiration like crazy right now. No! Everything is fine. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh. <laughs> I am doing pretty good. Hmm. I'm going to be greedy. I'm going to go for the Chaos Orbs rather than the Benevolent Fountain. Even though I could go for the Fountain and get, like, some sort of buff. I don't need the Resolve, but I can get a buff from it, which would be kind of nice. But no. Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. That went fine. I'm just super nervous right now because I know. I know that a ton of money is on the line now. Exalts are worth 13, so that's 17 at the end of the floor. 19. 
43. 47. It's about 50 C worth of stuff waiting for me at the end of this boss fight, so I need to. I really want to survive! <laughs> They're very lucrative. I'm I'm happy that I tried Sanctum again. Someone actually encouraged me to try Sanctum again. And I'm glad I did, because it's actually pretty fun. And lucrative. It's partially fun because of how lucrative it is. No, leave me alone. I'll go to the merchant first. Mm, nope. Definitely got hit. But that's that's whatever. I can only do what I can do. And this is a really bad, really bad level. I don't like this level. It's very dangerous. Okay. 50% more defenses. Sure. Then I'll take the inspiration when you get an affliction in case I gain more afflictions. What's the benefit of the defenses? Oh, does that mean that my resolve mitigation goes up because my armor went? Did my armor go up? Actually, one second. I'm curious. I'm going to hit my flask really quickly. Okay, so the armor flask actually does affect the resolve mitigation. Interesting. And I guess resolve Aegis is similar to ward. Cool. Okay. No divines. Oh well. <laughs> well, whatever. I have to go this way anyways. Don't like losing maximum resolve, but whatever. I've learned that it is important to keep your maximum resolve even if you don't get hit very often. Because there might be scenarios where getting hit is unavoidable. Eh. Eh. I don't think I got hit there. If so, that's a miracle. Hmm. I don't know if it matters which one of these I gotta do. I guess I'll go to this one. No! Why this? Wait, could I have figured... Can you tell by the name whether... If I, if I could tell by the name which room this was, then I need to learn the room names, because I would love to not have to deal with this room. I'm deaf. Oh my gosh, I'm losing so much inspiration. It did. That's it was desecrated crypts. Though this also was desecrated crypts. No, they they were both the same shitty room. Okay, avoid desecrated crypts. I gotta remember that. Okay, so I need immediately spawn totems. Okay. I have to stay in this, like, square here. Okay, good. Wait, why did I take a bunch of resolve damage? What was that? 
I didn't I didn't think anything hit me. Either I lagged or I don't understand. Ow. I walked right into a fireball. That was entirely my fault. Nope. I need to not die before I reach the boss. That would suck. Wait, I can block? I can block the fireballs of my totems? Are you shitting me? I can just stand right here because my totem... Wow. Okay. I need to remember that. <clears throat> nope. Go away. Oh, wait. Do I switch to fighter again? Oh, yes, I did. Okay. Big fight! Ah, uh, no! No! Oh. Cool. Run away! Run away! Oh, fuck, beat the sanctum. Oh. Okay. Oh. That was scary. So what is this stuff I got, anyways? What is this? Blood of Innocence. Herald of the Scourge drops the balance of tear. The Herald of Scourge takes 50% more damage. Or deals 50% more damage, takes 50% less damage. Items destroyed. 5C. So... What is the Herald of the Scourge? I don't really get what that is, because I don't remember dealing with whatever that is. Looking on the wiki really quickly. Wait, is the Herald of the Scourge the thing she turns into? The final boss? I think so. Okay, so when you get to the final boss fight room, she becomes the Herald of the Scourge. Okay, so this is for killing that particular character. This drops the balance of terror. Which is... How valuable is that? It's a 20C item. Cool. Wow, you can get a lot of very viable drops. Ah, oh, whatever. I guess I'll just go into my Sanctum thing and stay there for a while. Okay, so what type of relics do I have now? Let's see. Oh, I've, I have a lot of relics now. Uh, let's take all of these out. Little reliquary room in the Sanctum Vaults. I don't know what that means. Okay, so... When you resolve when you use a fountain. I almost never use fountains. Coins when you complete a room. That's not very many coins. Bosses take increased damage. I mean, that's that's not bad. Let's take increased damage. Resolve Aegis recovers 11% faster. That sounds decent. 17 resolve when you kill a boss. That definitely sounds nice. 3% chance to double drop double ores coins. Okay, that sounds good. 4% chance. 17 resolve when you kill a boss. The inspiration at the start of the Sanctum. Not so bad. 
Boost merchant prices, guards take more damage. Ten Aurus coins at the start of the Sanctum. I don't think I don't think the Aurus coins are worth it. Guards taking more damage is good. Very good. Because I like the closer I get to one shotting the guards, the better. Inspiration at the start. I mean, it's only 15. That's not a huge amount. And you only... I mean, you only have it till you get hit, basically, so... These will keep giving if I pick them. Mm. Nah. Good. I do have extra space, though, now. A lot of extra space. I'm not really familiar with how to min-max this. Okay, well, I can get more doubled coins. Might as well throw this in anyways. Okay, so I can do this. Kinda. You know what, I'll throw this in, too. Why not? If I if I die and lose it, I die and lose it. It's not that big a deal to me. And there's no one one by one things that I have. Hmm. I don't know how this stuff compares to like super juiced maps, but it's it seems to be fine for making money. Not like a crazy amount of money, unless you get the Divine Orbs, but... I mean, no, that definitely exceeds the amount of money you can make just by doing random maps. Even if they are red maps. No, actually, this, this does seem like a pretty viable way to make money. Okay. We're gonna do one more Sanctum. And then, since they seem to take like about half an hour, that will probably be the end of the stream. Just doing a bit of a short one today. No, holidays and all. I mean, I say short one, but it's going to be over two hours, so it's not that short in the grand scheme of things. No. No. Go away. This feels like the exit. Or did I just come from there? I literally just came from there. Well, it's a good thing I have such a great memory. Thank you. Out I go. Didn't even notice I had the map up, like the full screen map. Okay. I'll take Templar Annals. Nope. Don't like. Ow. I walked right into that fireball. I could have avoided that one. Darn it. Okay, cool. Have all the money. This is a robbery, see? Also deal more damage, sure, don't care. 
just have to not get hit. I do care, but as long as I don't get hit, I won't have to care. So, I just have to play really well. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I play well, that's what I should say. So that's a big if. Nope, run away, run away, nope, go away, exit, <laughs> don't care about the fountain, I'm not, I'm not recovering five gold for that, uh, or I'm not recovering, like, nine resolve for five coins, it's not worth it. Okay, I guess I'll go through the fountain to the accursed pact. Oh, hi. I don't, I don't recognize this boss. New boss, who dis? No. Ow. Okay, thankfully I res I recover resolve when I kill bosses. Just running around crazily because I have no idea what's going on. A benevolent fountain. See, I don't know what the benevolent fountain gives you. Like, if it's if it's just like, does it give you a minor boon? Does it give you a major boon? How much is it? Like, if it's 250, I'm fucked. If it's 200 or 150, I'm fine. I don't want to go for the major reward instead, because at least I know what that is, and I don't have to go through poisoned water. Nope. Thank you, totems. Leave me alone. Okay. In 100 inspiration, lose 200 resolve. Not maximum resolve, just normal resolve. So I could recover that. Gain a boon and affliction. I don't have no boons. Lose max resolve, gain glowing orb. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go for just this one. Glowing orb is a nice little protection. Okay, I absolutely could not take fiendish wings ever. That's way too dangerous for me. So I have to pick this then. I'm mainly protected by being able to either one-shot things or be able to hit things fast enough that the uh, freeze takes care of them. So I need to make sure I can lower their action speed, otherwise freeze does not work, because that is how freeze works, is it lowers their action speed to zero. Eh. Yeah, I have to go this way. Merchants only offer one option. That's unfortunate, but whatever. I feel like they've made the monsters in here have a lot better tells as to what they're about to do. And, like, give you time to deal with them before they can get off their attack, potentially. Oh, I think I got double coins from that because of my relic. Nope. Go away. 
Not interested. I don't want your candy bars. Okay, and now for the incredibly easy boss. You spawn my totems outside the activation range, and then... Goodbye. I got lots of money. Okay, level two. Okay, so merchants are debuffed for me. But I do have lots of coins, so I could just go use it. I could start on a major treasure. Hmm, I don't like mini map hidden light radius reduced. That sounds awful. I'm gonna go for major treasure to start with. I don't need the fountain. Oh yeah, and I recovered up to maximum resolve because I killed the boss. I really, I really like those relics. That's nice. Being able to recover resolve when you kill a boss is just so, so good. Because there are more bosses than just the end of floor bosses too, so you'll have multiple chances to do it, really. Eight hundred and forty one coins. Okay, so I've got a lot of coins now. I don't like any of these options. I think I'm going to I don't really like doing it, but I think I'm gonna to go to Black Smoke, get go to the merchant to go through poisoned water. Because poisoned water is the lesser evil of the three, because I mean, deceptive mirror means that you might go, so you might not go to the room you select, which means that if I select a room with a divine orb in it and I go to a different room, I just lose that that divine orb. So I don't want to risk that, and I don't want to take reduced maximum resolve unless I have to, because I'm now starting to understand the value of that. Oh, a relic. I didn't know that they could just randomly drop relics. Oh, I walked into the dot field, I think, that whatever that magic attack was. That's unfortunate. What do you have? Uh, sure, I mean, I don't have much else to spend my money on. I'm not spending 200 coins to recover 13 resolve. Speed all the guards. Oh, no. Go away. Nope. Leaving. Pick up your coins. Nope. Hope, that's the, hope those are the last ones. Yes, okay. I can go right into the... Into, down the stairs now. Uh, you know what? I don't have a huge use for the coins anyways. I will spend five coins. And I did not realize that that was an afflicted fountain! God damn it, I forgot. <laughs> okay, that was absolutely not worth it. Based on it being an afflicted fountain. If it was a normal fountain, it would be fine! Ah! Okay, so. I can block some things. My totems. So I want to have... 
I think, okay, so if I make a Sanctum only character, I need to give them, like, uh, decoy totems or something. Just so that they can block random traps and stuff. I kind of want to make a Sanctum only character just for the sake of making a Sanctum only character. Like, I don't think I necessarily need one, but I mean, I don't know, it's it's fun to have the challenge. Okay. No. It is nice to know that armor can help you reduce the amount of uh amount of resolve you lose but i think i would still prefer an evasion build seeing as like i don't get hit very often so if i can just avoid the few times i do get hit then i'll be in a good spot ow that thing's tanky I didn't notice immediately that there was the fire, like, the ring of fire underneath me. That could have gotten dangerous. No. No, thank you. I have so much money. I really... <laughs> ah, yes, more chests. But I needed. <laughs> Please, I have a thousand gold. I need something to spend this on. Okay, Benevolent Fountain, sure. Whatever that costs will probably be worth the money I have, seeing as I don't have anything better to put do with it, so I'll be able to see what it gives you. Those are Radiant Fountains, too. I wonder if Radiant Fountains give you major boons and benevolent fountains give you minor boons as well as like being fountains still ow Gain a random boon, okay. Okay, that is a mi that is a minor boon. Cool. Why did Oh shit, I forgot about poisoned water where I gain a random minor affliction when I use Ugh When I use a fountain. Damn it, because I usually don't use fountains. More resolve lost while well, resolve is below 50%. Well, that sucks. I think I'd rather have no coins than 40% less movement speed. Movement speed's very valuable. Nope. Just gonna hang out over here for... I don't know, because I feel like it, because I'm not, because I'm totally avoiding all these monsters. Uh, okay. Nope. Ow. Oh, I didn't get hit by that. How did I not get hit by that? Uh, I must please hit that thing. Thank you. Okay. Gain a major boon. Major boons are very good. Hmm. If I lose 50% of my maximum resolve, then... I'm going to lose 100 normal resolve. 
So in that case, it probably would be better to lose the resolve ahead of time, gain inspiration, and then lose maximum. Okay, I think that was the best choice. Because, yeah, I only... I think I actually technically went up in... Like, if you combine Inspiration and Resolve, I think I actually went up in that, because I think, I think I gained, like, 10 points. So that was, that's actually really good. I think that was for the best. Okay, time to kill the easy bosses. I prefer to think of myself as a flesh blob, not a flesh vessel. Thank you very much. Ugh. <laughs> Alira is a butthead. Guards impact, 4% reduced resolve. I don't really care about that. Put that over there, because I don't really care about it. Cool. Floor three. So there's four floors, is what I've learned. Okay, well, I have poisoned water, so I don't want the fountain. Go to the unholy lair. I think, I think it's the Templar annals that I want to avoid. That's the only room I know of that I don't like. If I, like, actually start to memorize the names of the different rooms, it probably would benefit me a lot. Because then I'll be able to know which rooms I can go through really easily. Oh, right, I have to find the rest of the guards. Ow. Can someone please kill that? Thank you. Oh, that wasn't the last one. Damn it. Getting heart hit far more than I would like. I lost 15 inspiration that time. Which isn't like a lot of inspiration, but it's more than I want to lose every floor. Uh, I guess I'll go this one. So this is the Sanctum Cathedral. This annoying room. This one's not that bad, because, like, you can just walk in a circle and you're generally fine. I shouldn't really be diving for the chest randomly, but sometimes I'm like, ooh, shiny, and I just do not think about what I'm doing. Like that, for example. That, that was a dumb choice. <laughs> and my brain's still like, ooh, there's a chest there. There's coins in it. They're sparkly and shiny. <laughs> Don't you want the sparkle, sparkly shiny? <laughs> uh... No deceptive mirror, please. Less resolve lost in the boss rooms. More resolve lost and that's not worth it for me. Sure, whatever. I'll take that. Okay, I can more likely to one-shot things. Okay, hungry fangs, I'm fine with that. I just need to not get hit. And eventually I will have enough I will be familiar enough with things that I won't get hit. Oh no, increase merchant prices. What am I going to do with my 1,500 coins? Oh shit, this is another Sanctum Cathedral.
Sanctum Cathedral always this crappy, like, run and run in circles one. I feel like it is. If that's the case, then I need to stop going to Sanctum, Sanctum Cathedrals. It's not like it's... I, I remember in the Relic tab there being, like, to unlock the full tab, I have to complete... What was that I had to complete? I had to complete a Sanctum Vault, I think. I should be looking out for that. Okay, is a boon worth another affliction? Considering how many afflictions I have, there's a very large chance that I will get, like, one of the crazy bad ones that I'm trying to avoid, so I'm gonna just not do that. Hmm. I'll just pick that. Whatever. No reason to pick up an affliction that... I don't need to, even if it is an affliction that doesn't really matter that much to me. Okay. Guards in the corner here. Please don't hit me. Still a guard somewhere. Oh, it's you. Only one option to go. Curse of Bact. This is also a Sanctum Cathedral. I want okay, so I wonder if Sanctum Cathedral just means the runner on circles rooms of like any type. That's true, then I should really start avoiding Sanctum Cathedrals if I can. They're annoying. Though I could also just do them a lot because I'm bad at them, and then eventually I'll be better, so I don't know. Ah, someone else has been... Someone else's character has been deleted once again in the new stupid mechanic that deletes characters. <sighs> Not resolve ages. Inspiration when you gain affliction. Two minor boons. Don't want to lose any more resolve. Lose a random affliction and a random boon. I prefer to have Sanguine Vile, but if I lose it, I don't care. I would like to get rid of an Affliction. Okay, I removed Home Claws. That's not... I mean, that, that's good. It's not... I don't really care too much, but... Okay, that's fine. It wasn't Sanguine Vile, so I don't care that much. Sanguine Vile is the one I really want. Just so that it reduces the... Uh... The maximum health of things, so they're easy to one-shot. Also easier to freeze, I believe. Based on their... Because I believe freeze duration is based on the max health of something. Circle, circle, circle. Just keep circling, just keep circling. Going in a clockwise fashion. Okay, there we go. Boss? No, one more to the boss. Uh, I don't want reduced maximum result, but there's also chaos orbs there.
I'll go for charred coins. Whatever. I'll pick up less Aorus coins. Oh no, I might not make it to 2,000 coins. Really wish I could spend these coins on something. <laughs> Be nice. Currently, they're kind of not amazingly useful. Ooh. Oh, right, I can't get anything from chests anymore. Right, because I have a ton. Right? Yeah, I still can't get things from chests, and it has not changed in the last 10 seconds, so opening more chests isn't going to help me. Despite the fact that my brain's like, SHINY! Get the SHINY! <laughs> Uh, is that the exit? No. Exit must be over here? Nope. Just still empty. Has not changed in the last minute. I've confirmed that. <laughs> There's. Nope, chest still empty. I'm gonna remember eventually. I guess my my uh um instinct to open chests isn't a bad thing. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope! Okay, I think I only lost 10 or 15 inspiration from that. That wasn't so bad. Hmm. Okay, that's worth it. Okay, final floor. We're going after Lysa. Lose all our coins on floor completion. Oh no. That's so bad. <laughs> this is the last floor, it doesn't matter. Uh, I could get... Actually, that's that's nothing, because I can't get anything from treasure chests. And that's money. I want money. I like money. Money's great. <laughs> uh, okay, defeat all guards. I'm gonna hide over here. You know, because... This hiding's nice. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna stay away from your fireballs. Nope. I'm good. Leave me alone. Give me flash charges. Nope. Go away. Ah. I have, there's the door there, so I have to kill nothing else, okay. Mm, okay, no, it's better to take this in case I die. One Chaos Orb isn't worth waiting to the end for it. Okay, major treasure, so nothing, because I don't get coins from chests. All right, good. Dead. Need to keep an eye out for areas to squeak by, because there's probably some hidden areas. Or not hidden areas, but like shortcuts. Like that one right there. There's a monster there. I'm gonna break that in case I have to backtrack. Something right there. Right, that chests are still empty, as they have been for the past like 20 rooms. Yep, yeah, nope, they're still empty. Holy shit, I did not expect that. Nope. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, damn it, that's just a chest. I was hoping that was the door. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. 
Nope, I don't know where the skull is. I don't want to get by the skull. It must be here. Yep. Okay. Or the chests, because they're all empty. Um. Okay, I don't have any resolve to recover, so money it is. Okay, we're gonna beat this Lysa. We can do it. Okay. I picked up his coins to the wall. That's pretty fun. Okay, so this is the area we just were in, which means that there is a skull in the middle of this area somewhere that I need to watch out for. Probably, like, right over to the left here. Nope. Yep, there he is. Okay, so I need to find a way around him. Nope. As soon as... Okay, tell him to stop attacking. Ah! I don't think I actually got hit there. Please. No, it's not the way out. Why am I still gathering coins? There's, like, no value to them. Okay, the skull's right there. Yep, okay. That's fine. This way? Yes. Okay. Get the chaos orbs now. I thought I already had cannot avoid resolve loss. I mean I don't I can't evade anyways, so it doesn't matter. I'd rather have that over you deal less damage. Because that also means I'm less likely to freeze things, even if I do hit them. Right. Grenades. Don't want to step on those. Grab that, grab that. There should be a skull. Fire at me soon. Nope. Okay, it should know I'm here now. Okay, there are those. Is this the exit? No. Extract it over there so I can walk this way because it is a really shitty turning radius. Is this the door? Yes. Okay, so this is. Is this a benevolent fountain? I can't remember. I'm pretty. I think this is an afflicted fountain. So I'm gonna walk past it. Oh, it's just a bait. It's just a normal fountain. Okay. Enemy hits ignore your resolve mitigation. So that actually is a problem because I do have resolve mitigation. Um, but I can gain money by doing it, and I only have to deal with resolve mitigation for one, two, three, four more areas. No, I'll just go with fountain. Fountain's the safe route, and if I get an option for a divine orb or something, then I want to have... Oh, fuck. I want to have the best chance I can get. This one particular room takes a lot of concentration, because of all the meteors and shit falling from the sky, and the monsters, and the thing I just got hit by. And I should stop talking. Ow. Okay. Okay, is the recovery worth an affliction? Probably. Maybe. You cannot recover resolve until after next... Okay, that doesn't matter. 
I just have to not get hit. Cursed Pact. I might just ignore the Cursed Pact when I get to it. Is this the same area? Wow, I totally walked into that. Yeah, I can jump here and there. This way. Nope. As soon as he splits, I notice that he's, he can, like, shrug off the freeze. So that must be an instant ability. Nope, these chests are still empty, as they have been this entire time. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm going this way. Okay, packed. I should probably grab something if I can. Inspiration, lose resolve. I can't lose 200 resolve. I don't know if that'll just kill me or not, but... You know what? A major, major boon for 50 maximum resolve, whatever. Give me something good. Ignore resolve loss for one second after losing resolve from a hit. Oh, so it's like an invul invulnerability frame. That's nice. Okay, yeah, I'll totally go for that. <clears throat> oh, that was dumb. I picked at the end of Floor instead of at the end of Sanctum, because those are now the exact same thing. Lose Resolve when you use a flask? No. Merchants have fewer choices. Well, okay, I'm not going to see a merchant again till before the end of the thing, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's this one. I hate this one. I hate this one. I hate this one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I hate this. Oh, this is the worst. Oh, this is really, really not good. Please. Please end. Please end! Please end before I lose any more resolve! No! Okay. Yep, chest still empty. Had to make sure. <laughs> Okay, what could I possibly lose that would not be a problem? <laughs> Afflictions are unknown on the Sanctum map. Uh, that actually does not harm me. This is actually fully beneficial because there's no more... I'm The next is the boss room, so there's no more Afflictions. Uh, plus, if I grab this, then I would get... This actually would give me 30 Inspiration. Because it would. I think it would get the boon and then the Affliction. Yay, it got me inspiration. Okay. Oh! That's an orb. Nice. Okay, so I can lose 25, 28 resolve, maximum resolve, in exchange for a major boon. I don't know what the major boons are, so this kind of. That's kind of bad, um, hmm. Okay. Wiki, wiki, major boon. What are the major boon types? Oh, there's a lot of major boons. Uh, duplicate up to three random offer rewards. On reaching zero resolve, revive with 75% of maximum resolve once. Start of each room, a random shine effect is applied. Traps are disabled. Grant a random minor boon when you use a fountain. On reaching zero, revive with full resolve with 50% of your maximum resolve and a random boon. Okay, there's a lot of very nice ones. You know what? I'm going to risk that. Because that actually might be the, the difference between me winning and losing. Please. Gain a man- Oh, minor boom when you use a fountain. No, that's not useful. Okay, I have effectively 58 resolve. 
And I have to go fight the boss now. This is not amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna summon stuff outside the activation range and then activate her. Nope. Nope. No, 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 fuck off. No, fuck off. Ow. Uh, no. Go away. No, go away. Okay, I cannot get hit by anything. If I get hit by anything, I'm so fucked. Oh, this is a lot more tense than I wanted it to be, that's for sure. Okay, I can keep moving. Okay, cool. I blocked them. Now, summon totems outside activation range. Soon as she swaps, I'm going to Vol Blight. Yep, there you are. Please, 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 please kill her. Okay, okay, I have 20 resolve left. Alright, I can go in there. 20 resolve left. Let's do this. Nope, 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 I don't know what you're doing, but nope. No! No, 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 not that! Not that, not that, not that, not that, not that, definitely not that. That will kill me. That will definitely kill me. Wither, 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 wither. Die, wither, die, wither. I don't know what you're doing, but I don't like it! No! No! <laughs> she was so close to dead! Oh my gosh, she was at like 20% health! Yeah, look at- Oh, you fucker! She was at 10%! Fuck! Oh, I was so close! Uh What does checkpoint do? Just oh, just responds to me in okay. Whatever. Uh Okay, well I mean I still got a lot of money, it's just not like the godly amount of money. Uh fucking hell. <laughs> oh that oh my god, that was just so <sighs> I'm frustrated, but I had fun. It it is really fun. It's it's also frustrating. I I need <sighs> if if I learn how to play better, I definitely I I think I can definitely have a lot of fun with this. It is fun learning though too. Man. Okay. Well, for those on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Remember to uh, like, comment, and subscribe to see more cool content.